How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to learning RPG developer Bakin. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use event conditions. In this example, I'm showing off an event using a teddy bear object. And when the player interacts with it, it will explode and disappear. I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is create an event and you can do this a number of ways. You can select an object, left click on it and place it and then click on this little icon here. It will convert it into an event and there are a plethora of preset events that you can use. We're going to make a custom event and hit OK. So we've got an event and we want it to explode when we interact with it and then disappear. So we're going to set a condition for this first page to be displayed. We're going to click on add sheet condition and select variable box. We're going to click on the selection drop down. There are many things we can use. We're going to use a local variable for this. So click on add and then left click on the selection and name it self switch a. You can name it whatever you want. Once you've made your self switch, click OK. And we're going to make sure that in order for this event to display, this condition has to be met. All switches and variables will start at zero when the game is initialized unless otherwise told to. So by default, this will just display the event and show it if we have it equal to zero. This means when the game starts, this event is going to be here. This next part is the trigger. And to quickly go over the event I just created, when a player talks is one of the triggers. So that's when an action button is pressed on it. We're going to click on this plus we're going to click on conversation. You would think that it would be in screen effects, but it's in conversation and we're going to click on display effect. Then we're going to select our position to be this event. We're going to select an effect. Find it from the particle section, select wait to complete. Then we're going to click on the plus again. We're going to click on variable boxes. We're going to click on variable box assignment and calculation. And in the drop down, we're going to select the self switch a that we created in our event conditions. Then we're going to overwrite by value and type in any number. We're going to just change it to one. Anything other than zero will toggle this event off upon action button. And that's basically it. Now you have an event that will play its particle effect, change its switch conditions after action button trigger has fired and it will turn off. There are many things you can do with switch conditions to toggle pages of an event, turn them off and back on again. Have fun learning. That's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come hang out with us on the Discord server. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.